Hey everyone, I'd like to demonstrate the functions and features of this espresso maker. It is a fantastic unit. Um, just got to be careful and read the instructions. It comes very well packaged. Um, you just need to remove all the tape and wrapping. The most important thing that you're going to want to do, which I neglected to do at first and I was wondering why it wasn't working. Let's start out back here. This is your water reservoir. So you're gonna fill up your water back here. There's a minimum fill line, there's a maximum line. You can either pour water into here or there's a handle here so you can lift this out, put that water there, and fill it at your sink or um, uh, whatever and then you can set it back down in here. But what I wanna point out is this little rubber guy here, this was in where the water flows from the tank, or excuse me, from the reservoir down into the tank of the machine. You need to take that out before you use it or you will get no water flow. That was my problem. So hopefully I saved you a step there. It is in the instructions, I just happened to miss it. So that's important. So now we've got our water in here. Again, minimum line, maximum line. You just wanna make sure that you don't go beyond those. While I'm right here at the top, these are nice handles here to carry the unit. I keep mine in my pantry, so it's nice to have this when I wanna pull it out, um, unless you're gonna keep it on your counter, which is a very attractive unit, so you could do that. However, mine stays in the pantry, so these handles are great. Now, onto how to do this, all right? So you have two cups here. You have a single serve and you have a double serve. What you want to do is you're going to scoop up your coffee, put it in which I have one you're going to use, and you're going to tamp it down with this. So I've, I'm going to show you with the double here. So I put the coffee in and I'm going to tamp, tamp it down nicely because you don't want it overflowing or it's going to, the grounds are going to get all into your, into your cup. Now we have our espresso cups here which are very tall. So as you can see, they're not going to really fit under here once I put the, um, this unit in there. So this is just like your Keurig or single serve coffee maker. You have a tray here for your shorter cups, but say you're going to fill up a travel mug, something taller, you're able to remove this screen and then you can set your cups down below a lot easier and they fit. All right. So we've got these underneath now with your scoop here, you have a notch here, and these little cups both have a little nipple. So you're gonna to wanna to line that up and put that into the notch so that this sits flush on the rim so that you will be able to get it up into here. You can see there are three uh, things here too that are gonna go into the notches up here. There's an unlock and a lock. So you're gonna to wanna to put that up in there and then you're going to and I'm gonna line it up good. Then this just twists over. And it's not easy, which is good. You want it to be nice and snug, but you just snug it over till it's straight ahead. All right, so now we are good to go. These are your function buttons. So this, this one has three positions. It's in neutral, there's your brew, and then there's your steam. All right, this is your on and off. There's only two uh, switch, two options for that. You're off and you're on. So I'm gonna turn it on. It takes about a minute or so, 45 seconds to 60 seconds to heat up. But I had it on earlier. What you, when you, usually when you turn it on, this is gonna be flashing. And then it takes a bit to warm up. And then you have to wait for the screen light. But now we've got a green light. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna brew. You can see the pressure starts to build as the water's heating up and brewing. You can see it brewing right now. Once you get the amount of uh, brew that you want in there, This is kind of light. I'm using a lighter roast for this right, uh, this demonstration here. But typically, you're going to use a dark 
French roast, very finely ground, and you're gonna get a really, really dark brew. Now I'm gonna stop it here. So it's in the neutral position, so it's straight on. And then I'm gonna go to steam here in just a second. So I'm gonna move the steam up, move the toggle switch up to the steam, but over where we're gonna work with it is right here. So this is your steam bar. Let me just show you this before we start here. So this usually, for storage purposes, goes right up against there. And they got this nice rubber piece here with a little handle. So that's nice, that's great. You don't have to touch this because you're gonna get hot steam going through here, hot water, it's gonna be really hot. You don't wanna touch that. So that's a nice feature. So we're gonna put that up and in. Once you toggle the switch up to the steam, this is gonna control. Um, and I did it earlier just as a practice. And if you go all the way up to the top, it really bubbles <laughs> and it can make a mess if you don't, if you're not watching carefully, it, it's a really good steamer. So it does splatter if you're not careful. So you, you just kind of go slowly and get used to, um, how to, how much steam you're, and pressure you're going to want to use. So I'm going to flip the steam switch. And you can see the green lights flashing. So we're gonna wait until that is a steady green light before I go to the knob here to release the pressure. Cause this means that it's building the pressure up right now. Okay, we're steady. So now we're ready to go over here. See what I mean, how strong it is? And I'm not even going any hardly up at all. All right. I'm gonna turn that off. You can see we got some nice foamy steamed milk in there. Got a good head on that. So not only do you have your steamed milk, but if you like foam on top of your, you know, like a cappuccino or something, you've got a good heavy um, head of foam there too. So that is, you would just need to keep on going if you wanted it uh, more foam and less steamed milk. You just need to keep on steaming. But I like more steamed milk than I do foam. So that is pretty much all there is to it. And then um, the instructions to clean it. You definitely want to clean this every time right away. You um, you can run hot water through it. It show it tells you how to do that. You're going to want to do that to clear out. You know the dry. You don't want milk to dry in there because that's going to plug it up. Same with this. That's going to dry. The milk's going to dry on that, and it's going to um, be hard to get off. So you want to clean this every time. So I'm going to go ahead, turn that back off, put that back in neutral position. Let's see what we got here. All right. And if I wanted to, I could scoop some foam there. Get some nice foam going on here. There. That's kind of a blonde espresso if I've ever seen one or cappuccino. I hope the review was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Take good care.